Let's talk about the importance of having a positive mindset and how that can be done by making the most of now. Having a positive mindset is an intentional decision that can be made. And I remember making that decision years ago because I did not want to be walking around complaining and um, seeing everything as negative because I had already overcome depression in my life and I just wanted to enjoy life more. So when I made that decision to have a positive mindset, it truly made a difference from then on. Instead of focusing on, well, I'll be happy when this happens or if this happens, we want to focus in on the present. What is going well right now? Making the most of the opportunities of now. If you're not intentionally making the most of now, you won't even recognize the opportunities that you have today. And if you don't recognize those opportunities, you surely won't take advantage of those opportunities that you have today. You may have heard me say something similar to this before, but today's opportunities are all we ever have. We don't need to focus on the past and we don't need to focus on the future. Why? Because we can't change the past and we can't just do nothing and just wait for the future. Waiting for the future when you're not doing anything in the present is going to put you in the same situation or worse than you are right now. In other words, now is the only time that we ever have to make a difference in our future. Thinking back to the pandemic and how it turned our worlds upside down, you can just reflect back on the different ways that people approached that time frame. Many people complain about all the things they couldn't do and they were kind of stuck in their heads in the past of the things that they wished they could do, but they couldn't do it today. Other people used that time to do what they could do. And this was the approach that my family and I talked about because I just cannot, I just cannot, um, bring myself down in a situation if there's a way to avoid it, right? So when the pandemic hit and we found ourselves stuck at home, not being able to do anything, I had to reassess and say, hmm, what can I do? I can't do these things, true enough, but what can I do? It's a mindset shift. So, I had to think differently. So in my case, the first thing that I felt like was a priority for me was to still be able to minister to others. Um, I am a gospel singer and I also speak and do various things like that. And I did not want to be grounded from doing that when people needed that the most during the time of the pandemic. So I ended up taking my ministry online. And I have to tell you, there was a lot involved with that. Um, but I learned how to do my music um, in such a way so that I could participate in different services that people had and they wanted special music. So I was able to participate in that. I had a few opportunities to speak virtually for um, women's ministry events. I actually started my YouTube channel during the pandemic um, when at first it was just my husband was uploading some of the songs that he had recorded that I had sang. That's another story. I was not really interested in being on YouTube. <laughs> um, but with that came a lot of learning. You see, my husband worked in IT until he retired recently, and my son is actually in the same major that his dad had. And yet, I learned all of the skills necessary to run my YouTube channel myself. So a lot of people probably assume that 
my husband or my son does the editing and all of that. But actually, during the pandemic, I learned how to edit. I learned how to um, create my thumbnails and do my descriptions and upload my videos and do my own recording, learn how to use my camera and all of the above, including the editing software. All of these things took a lot of learning to do, right? YouTube University is how I learned it. During the pandemic, I actually started my tailored literacy business where I was able to help students with reading from home virtually. I also renewed my national board certification in literacy and I became a life coach and health and wellness coach as well. In other words, I made the most of the situation. So whatever your situation is right now, if you just think about it differently, Consider what opportunities you have right now, even if the situation is not ideal. What can you do right now? And here are a few ideas. So one of the things my family and I are really good at is celebrating with each other. Celebrating our positive accomplishments. Life is too short to not enjoy what you have worked hard for. And if you don't take the moment that you have when you have completed something to celebrate it before you know it that moment has passed and you're in a new moment where you're having to deal with your new situation your new opportunities um, your new challenges right so we believe in celebrating our accomplishments and one of our favorite things to celebrate with is the non-alcoholic flavored juice whether it be grape juice in this case, it's a non-alcoholic strawberry daiquiri, okay? So let me just say this. Because we take our celebrating very seriously around here, when Christmas comes, they have limited edition non-alcoholic sparkling juices, and we will collect a few of those that will take us through part of the year. Yeah, it's that serious in our family. Um, but if you don't celebrate whatever it is that you're doing, who's going to do it for you? And you have every right to enjoy your life's journey. It is your life journey. Another thing that you can do right now is count your blessings, right? Practice gratitude. Be grateful for the things that you have, especially to be aware of the things we tend to take for granted. You know, do an inventory of things that you really hadn't thought about recently, but you are so glad you still have it or you still have them or whatever the case may be. It may be your family that you have, your um, circumstances or favorite items in your home. Y'all know I like to talk about my comfortable bed. That's just like really, really special to me. Um, I thank God for air conditioning because for about the past month or two, our unit wasn't working properly, but thank God, okay? Before it got really, really hot, um, we got it serviced and it is doing what it's supposed to do once again. So, like I always say, we don't want to take things for granted like cool air um, in your home. So counting your blessings and taking inventory of what you're grateful for is a great way to spend now, today. Sometimes when it seems like nothing special is going on, it's a great time to take a break. Especially when you've been busy working, 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 um, doing whatever it is you're trying to do, sometimes it's best to take a break. And I found myself doing that last week. It went from one day to two days to three days when I didn't actually propel forward every day as I had intended to because I actually needed the break. So sometimes it could be a day, sometimes it could be a week, but 
at that time when you feel like you've been rested enough, a lot of the times you'll be ready to go back in hard on whatever it is you were working toward. And you just sometimes need a break. And that's totally fine. It's called being human, right? Another thing that you can do right now, if nothing's going on otherwise, is reconnect with your purpose. Because a lot of times you can feel like you're getting pulled here and there, um, all these obligations or someone's asking you to do this or do that. And you may find yourself completely off of the path that God had for you or the vision that you know God has for you. Sometimes those times when nothing seems to be happening is the time you need to sit back and reevaluate. Are you still operating in your purpose? Reconnect with your purpose. So I guess what I'm trying to tell you is when we have those moments or seasons of quiet and pause, when it seems like nothing's happening, when it seems like we're just stuck in a rut, more often than not, those are seasons of rest, discovery, and growth. So don't look down on those times. Make the most of now. Now I hope this was helpful to you. And if it was, please leave a comment below and share it with someone else. And I'll see you next time.